Welcome. Let's see how to modify walls in Revit architecture. Modifying the walls will include the change in the height of the wall, thickness of the wall and applying different materials to it. So we'll look into one by one. So here first I'm selecting a wall. So here I took a simple a building plan where I created interior and exterior walls to that. So here I'm selecting one of the wall. Then once I select here in properties palette here we can look the properties of the wall. The type of the wall, location line, base constraint and the top constraint and the area volume of the wall. So here in top constraint here we can see it has been set to level 2 means from level 1 to level 2 it has been created. So we can set it to unconnected also where if we select unconnected we can give the height of the wall according to the requirement either we can increase or decrease the height of the wall or we can create n number of walls and we can extend the height of the wall to that particular level. So as of now it is uh, up to level 2. So here we can see height. Height of the wall is 4000 where we can't edit the height. If I set it to unconnected. So here we can see the option got enabled. So here I am making it to 6000 mm. So then apply. So here we can see how the height of the wall has been changed. So in this way we can change the height. And in the same way we can either increase or decrease the thickness of the wall. So selecting the wall. So from properties palette only click on edit type. From here structure edit. So here we can see the uh, function material and thickness of the wall. So under function the layers how many layers we have. So here we can see core boundary. We don't have any thickness to it. So only one layer we have that is structure one and the material for that structure is brick and the thickness is 120 mm. So here I am changing it to 400 mm thickness. Then click on OK. Then apply. Then OK. So here we can see how the thickness has been changed and here you can observe here I selected only one wall and change the thickness but it has been applied to all interior walls because we are using one category of walls so here I'm using the same brick wall 90 mm category brick wall here also I'm using the same brick wall that's why when I'm applying changes to one wall it applies to the complete project in project wherever we are using the same category of wall it will applies to that particular wall so here in level one we can see how the thickness has been applied to all interior walls so now I want to change the material for this wall. So select the wall. Again same from properties palette. Edit type. Then structure edit. Here material. Click on the material. So here I am just uh, picking this carpet. Material of the wall. Then clicking OK. So here we can see material has been changed to carpet then click ok then apply then click ok so here we can see carpet material has been applied once again to all the walls means of which are uh, the same category where we have used but I don't want to apply the same material throughout the project where I have used the same category so how we can make so here I'm selecting the wall. Here I want to apply the a material or the specified thickness to this particular wall only. So I'm selecting this and then clicking on edit type. Here we can find an option called duplicate. Click on duplicate. 
so here i can give the a name so like a kitchen wall so this is the kitchen wall click ok so where i want to give a different material then edit on the material so here i need a brick only so selecting brick then click ok again ok ok so here we can see the brick material has been applied to this a particular wall so it uh, it has been not applied to this walls even though we have used the same category of walls so here we can uh, duplicate the elements so we can apply only specific properties to that particular wall either it may be a thickness or the material so this is we call it as duplicating the element and last option we have so here i'm selecting the wall so here we have one more option called edit profile where we can add some openings so when we are uh, creating a kitchen a modular kitchen so we'll be having a, a open over there so to give some uh, to give some opening in kitchen area for canteens or like that so we'll be seeing some openings over there so to create that kind of openings we'll be using the option called edit profile so after selecting the wall click on edit profile so here i want to create an opening so select in which shape you want to create an open select that particular profile and create over there then click on finish so here we can see an opening so in this same way we can create multiple openings either in arch way or circular so where we need some ventilations or uh, to fix any ventilators so we can create this different kinds of openings on the wall so here we have learnt how to apply different materials and how to change the thickness and how to change the height of the wall and the how to edit the profile of the wall. Thank you.